and there will be times when you will fail. It is not always that you will make an A, there will be times that you will fail. Whenever you fail, accept it, okay? but never, never, never give up. Again, you know, uh, sharing a real life uh, story, uh, one of our customers, will be our company uh, has been making mixers for like 38, 38 years, right? And I shared with you the how critical application that we've been building. And it was a very simple application where uh, with one of our most important customers, we had a mechanical failure uh, in terms of the shaft shearing during the mixing process. Okay. So it happened on one mixer, we thought probably something would have gone wrong uh, without much of uh, uh, thought into why it went wrong. We just kind of provided them a replacement and uh, moved forward. Uh, but two months later, we had three more failures in the same plant, uh, you know, on three different machines. And uh, when it happens with your most important customer, uh, you begin to fear uh, and you also lose the customer. Just because there is a series of failures that you have caused. And the consequences of such failures are huge production losses. Your customers have made some commitments. They need your machines you know, to deliver the products that they are committed to their customers. If your machines are going to fail, they may not be able to meet. So, so what we did when this, this, this happened is that we made sure that we at least got the machines up and running you know, within like 48 hours so that the customer did face a production loss. Uh, we went into the depth of the problem, we discussed, uh, we looked at our design calculations, we talked to experts uh, in the industry, uh, we went to IIT, talked to some guys at mechanical engineering department there, and eventually we realized you know, where the problem uh, lay, and it was, it was more to do with the metallurgy, the selection of the, the materials, and uh, we changed the selection of the material, and uh, we gave them all free replacements, we made sure that their plants were up and running, uh, the customer also was very, very supportive and uh, cooperated in this in these difficult times. And uh, well, the replacements in place and everything working fine, things were good. And one month later, after everything was replaced and was up and running, uh, I was I was called to their HO uh, for a discussion. And while we were discussing this, you know, the point of discussion was why did these these equipment fail? And you know, I kind of made a presentation to them. I explained to them. Are you sure that your new design will work? And uh, yeah, very confident. This will not be very really well. And once they were convinced, okay, immediately in that same meeting, we got an order, a repeat order for the same equipment, which were to be exported to their plant in Brazil. Okay. So that moment. as a salesperson and you want to pick up an order. Having failed, having gone through the challenges, having you know, had to go through all the struggles to make sure that you keep the, product, the, the production up and running at the customer's location. And then, you know, regaining the customer's confidence and getting an order for, for an export when you know that you will not be able to uh, provide an equally good service there or you have limited resources to reach out there. But the customer then places the confidence so uh, never give up. Uh, you will encounter failures, but, but you know, never give up and uh, make sure that you get over them.